Welcome to the Etihad Cargo Connections with 10 Furlongs Magazine. I'm your host today, Aurelian Drumion. Today, we welcome Troy Corstens, a prominent figure in the world of horse racing. With a rich background and a family legacy deeply rooted in the sport, Troy has established himself as a respected horse trainer in Australia. His passion for the industry, coupled with a wealth of experience, has led him to numerous successes on the racetrack. Join us today as we dwell into Troy's insight and experiences and the, and the dynamic world of thoroughbred horse training. So Troy, thank you so much for being here. How are things at Malua Racing? Going pretty good at the moment. We, uh, we're into this new season and we've had a, a, a bit of a frustrating run of seconds. We've had uh, 24 seconds for the season. So that's been a little bit frustrating, but uh, the horses are all starting to run really well. I can imagine. But, but what are your expectations for this season? Look, I, I'm hoping that uh, we've got a, a few really nice two-year-olds coming through that uh, I'm quite excited about. And um, I've got uh, a couple of nice colts that I'm going to try and aim up for a, a couple of the better two-year-old races coming up into the new year. Okay, great. And how do you envisage reaching those goals? Uh, look, I just think that we, we always buy nice horses and uh, we've got uh, terrific locations down here. So we're very, very lucky that we've got Flemington, uh, we've got Geelong, and then I've got a farm as well, which is two hours north of Flemington. Okay. And it just gives us the opportunity to switch things up and change horses around and uh, change their uh, training environments. Okay, excellent. So, Troy, you had one of your best season last year in terms of prize money. What was that success down to and how do you build upon that? It's always hard to build on, but we're, we're always trying <laughs> to improve and get better. Um, we had a very good year with uh, the astrologist. I think he was our uh, marquee horse and he, he did a terrific job. So it was uh, really good. So we've just got to try and find another five or six of those and, and keep building. That's amazing. Yeah, definitely. You are always someone striving for improvement, you know, whether that's using the latest technology within the industry or even opening up new facilities like the one in Geelong. Is there anything you're doing differently this season compared to previously? Not really. We we do we use a, a system called Arionio, which is a French system uh, that tracks uh, the data of the horses, the GPS and the heart rates. So we have um, we have been using that for about 12 months, and I do think it's a, a very good aid uh, in training our horses. But um, most importantly, I think we've just got some nice horses coming through. Sure. Was it easy to implement? Uh, is yeah, it is. Actually. It's, it, it's very easy to use. It's uh, a system that goes um, under the uh, girth pad and under the saddle pad and uh, tracks data and uh, it goes straight to GPS and, and we can download it at the end of the morning. Wow, that's that's amazing. Technology is, is fantastic. <laughs> Helping in every every industry. Very yeah, cool. very much so. And I think, um, you know, it's probably something that uh, human athletes have used, been using for five to ten years. And sure. um, in the horse racing world, it's been around for probably five or six years. But um, we, we've had a couple of different systems and uh, very happy with the Arionio system now. Oh, that's great. Very good. Um, so, Troy, you work very closely with your father, Leon. What's your relationship like and how does it work working together? It's, it's always very hard. Uh, family businesses are never easy. and uh, But there are so many horse racing families out there that uh, endure what we all go through. So uh, there are lots of people working with their fathers and, and so on as well. But we're very lucky because uh, Dad actually runs the Geelong stable and mm -hmm. I, I'm at the Flemington stable most of the time. So uh, we're not in each other's way every moment of every day. So that works very well. Okay, so you kind of have your own... Um, system, let, let's put it this way. Yeah, pretty much. So we've got Malu has got the one big system, and then um, Dad implements things down in Geelong. With uh, he's got thirty horses down in work there, and then I've got forty horses in work at uh, Flemington, and it just works quite nicely. That's great. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you gain from your father? I think um, my father is is very very good at not wavering so staying doing the same thing every day 
mm-hmm. and and just keeping our systems in place because horse racing is very hard. You, you you have a lot of ups and a lot of downs, sure. and if you hit those down peaks and you start changing things, uh, things go wrong and and you don't know what's happening. But if you he tries to keep us on a a, a level keel all the time. And um, that way we just uh, know that it's the horses that are coming through and, and not our system. Okay, great. Well, it's always good to have different opinions, I guess. And if it's family oriented, it's, I guess, even better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you often talk about that feeling you get from horse racing. What are some of the standout moments in your career that have given you the greatest feeling of them all? It's clearly there's. I I said it's very funny, but I I equate um, group one. I think the best feeling I've ever had in my life was my firstborn child. That was uh, one of the greatest feelings in my life. Um, the second best feeling I've ever had is winning in group one, and and we've done it. We've done it um, multiple times, and it it doesn't change. That they there's nothing there's nothing like getting a group one winner. And it's what we all strive for. It's what we're in the game for. That's amazing, for sure. For sure. Um, I'd like to talk a bit more about the astrologist, of course. So one horse that probably gives you that feeling <laughs> is the astrologist. What is it like to train such a special horse? Uh, he he has his um, downsides. I can. He, he's not the easiest horse in the world to train. He, he has a few little niggling problems that we have to really stay on top of uh, all of the time. But he he's an amazing animal. He he tries so hard. Um, and, and you know, every time that you're going to put him out on the racetrack, he's going to give a hundred percent. And, uh, it's very rare in a horse. I can tell you it's, uh, it's a, a lovely attribute to have in a horse mm-hmm. and he, he's just, uh, he's won 2.8 million now and, um, and wow. taken us all over the world. And he's just an amazing animal. That is pretty amazing indeed. How is he doing by the way? He's really good. He's ready to race. He races, uh, he'll kick off here. He came back from London and he took a little bit of time to acclimatize because uh, he was coming out of uh, their spring and, and coming into ours and it was it was very different for him. So he grew uh, grew a long coat and obviously we were coming into summer so he needed to shed that coat, which he's done now. Uh, he's ready to kick off on Boxing Day. So he'll have his first run back on Boxing Day um, and then he'll have two more runs and then I'm hoping that we can get him back to Dubai. Great. Could you um, give me a little bit of insight about his personality? Uh, he's a lovely horse. He's a very big horse, um, but he's he's a lovely animal. He's he he, he loves uh, he loves his track work in the morning, um, and he's a, a very professional horse. He he loves uh, he loves rider on his back, and he loves pleasing, and he loves doing his work. He's he's a really nice horse to work with. Okay, great. I'd like to talk to you more now about Dubai and the UAE specifically. So you're a trainer who isn't too scared to send your horse abroad to compete with some of the best horses around the world. What are your plans for Dubai and the UAE racing this season, this year? Yeah, well, we we we're, we really want to come back with the astrologist. He ran second, um, obviously, you know that, and uh, he was beaten you know, so marginally, and uh, we really want to come back and, and try and win the Alcos um, in 2024. So uh, that's that's the plan at this stage. So we, we have to wait and see if we get invited back. So hopefully we can get invited. Great. And more globally, what's your thoughts on the UAE racing season? Uh, it's amazing. It's something that I I watch very carefully um and obviously we've got uh, some australians over there now as well so uh, <laughs> we take even more note of what's going on but it's a it it's it's kind of like the europe's off season isn't it so you know the the season finishes in in the uk and france and germany and you're seeing so many trainers uh, head from europe over to dubai it's it's become very very strong it's amazing racing and um and the facilities and everything like that it's just world class wow have you have you ever been yes i have yeah, i've been <laughs> great great all right finally uh, on to the last question uh, if you were an astrologer much like astrologist 
What would you predict for yourself and Malua Racing in the coming years? Um, well, <laughs> I'm very big on family and I've got my nephew working for me at the moment, which is uh, fantastic. And okay. most recently, my son is now also working for us. Wow. So I'm very keen to um, increase the success, um, get better, get stronger, and hopefully uh, we can pass something on to my, to my family, to my nephew and to my son that uh, they can really be proud of and, and keep going into the next 20 years. That's excellent. A real family business. Yeah, it is. And, and I love that. That's the best part of it. Definitely. I can imagine. It's very much like, um, like, uh, like a huge family in general, the industry, horse racing. Yeah, it is. It's, um, you know, you work so closely with uh, so many other guys and uh, and we work very early mornings over here and it, become, it does become a family life too. Excellent. Well, Troy, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the interview. I did. It was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your insights.